Hello everyone, welcome to the final video of Text, A Summer Story. Are you ready for this? Oh man, you need to get whatever it is you like to drink and make sure you're ready for this. It's going to blow your mind a little bit, okay? Just make sure you put a tarp up on the walls. Alright, ready? Here we go. Oh no, I'd better not miss the train. I spent forever trying to convince Mom to let me travel alone. If I get stranded, she'll never let me out of her sight again like a wildebeest. I shouldn't have overslept. Whew. Whew. I can't believe I made it. Huh. <laughs> Looks like I can handle myself after all. Hmm? A new message. Hey, honey! Don't forget to give your uncle the... D fruit. As soon as you arrive, it'll spoil if you don't eat it tonight. Love, Mom. Uh, seriously, Mom? I'll be fine. I'll be meeting Uncle at the shrine, so it's not like I'm going to be alone anyway. Oh well, I guess that's just how Mom is. This train is actually pretty nice. There's hardly any homeless people on here. I've never actually been on one of these before. <laughs> I'm only used to taking the ones to school, but these big ones that go across Japan are much nicer. And emptier. I guess it's not really the season for visiting shrines right now. <laughs> I'm sure that makes Uncle's job as caretaker a lot easier. At least I get a whole train car to myself for three hours. <sighs> Legit yawn there. Mmm, my neck feels funny. These chairs aren't very comfortable after so much sitting. Another message? Don't forget to text me when you arrive, okay? Love, Mom. Oh, Mom. Please just let me go. Oops, this is my stop. Mm, it feels good to stretch after sitting down in that train for so long. The fresh air feels nice too. It smells like the ocean. I'm getting on the ferry right now. I'll be at the island soon. That should make her happy. I'm pretty sure the ferry ride isn't going to be too long. I should text Uncle and let him know that I'm going to be at the shrine soon. Hey, I'll be at the island in a few minutes. Can't wait to see you. I hope he gets it. Last I remember, he wasn't very good with technology. Oh, that was quick? I guess I don't have to worry after all. Um, who is this? What? It's Maya, your niece. I'm supposed to visit you at the Asha Shrine this week? What's going on? I don't have a niece. My name is Takeshi, and I haven't even finished high school yet. Oh, no. I got the wrong number. This is so embarrassing. I should probably apologize. I'm so sorry. I must have entered the wrong number. I hope he doesn't think I'm a total idiot. No, it's not your fault. Is your uncle's name Hisashi? How does he know about uncle? That's him. How did you know? I worked for him at the Asha Shrine last year. He gave me this phone. He said it was a bigger nuisance than help. Uh, that sounds like Uncle. He hardly used his phone anyway. He probably forgot that we even had his number. That makes sense. My mom had to actually send snail mail to him to let him know I was coming. At least we know why he didn't answer his phone. That's weird. I didn't get any calls. He didn't. I guess mom tried calling a different phone then. Maybe it was a landline. Oh, I'm at the island already. That was much faster than I expected. The shrine shouldn't be too hard to find. It's the only thing on this island, after all. Yep. Found it! Can't believe he lives here alone. It just seems like an awfully big place for just one person. I'm at the shrine with Uncle now. He says, Hi, I gave him the fruit. I'm glad you made it safely. How is your uncle doing? Honestly, he's a lot thinner than I remember. And he looks old. Maya, that's your uncle. You should be more respectful. Ugh, I know that. I'm just telling you what I see. Uncle really does look a lot older than before. Right, Mom? Sorry. I'm just tired. I think I'm going to go to bed now. Hopefully that will pacify her. Why am I so worn out anyway? 
All I did was sit around most of the day. Hmm. I don't see a place to charge my phone. Hmm. Let's, let's, let's have it off. I should probably try to conserve the battery. Ah, oh, that was a good sleep. I feel a lot better now. I should turn my phone back on in case Mom texts me. Hmm, that was a text already. That was quick, Mom. Hey, Maya, you didn't respond to my last text. Is everything okay? Sorry if I'm being pushy or something. I hope I didn't scare you off. Oh, no, Takeshi. I totally forgot about him. Space Cadet. Let's just tell him everything's fine. I should tell him I'm okay. He was probably worried about me. No worries, I'm fine. Just met up with Uncle and then crashed in bed. So tired last night. Hmm, no response. I guess I should get going. If he wants to strike back, he will. I hope the Keshi doesn't think I'm rude. I wonder why Uncle never mentioned him before, though. Oh, new mail! I hope it's him. I'm glad you're okay. What are your plans for today? Whew. Glad he's not mad at me. Heading back into town. Uncle wants me to grab some groceries. I'm guessing that used to be your job. Yep. Along with helping keep the shrine and grounds clean. It takes a lot of work during tourist season. I assume things are quiet right now, though. How's your uncle doing anyway? Not so well. His health has been going downhill the past year, and the doctors can't figure out what's wrong with him. It looks like he hasn't slept in ages. That's too bad. He looked just fine last year. Everyone was always surprised to find out how old he really was. Really? He definitely looks his age now. And not in a good way. I kind of got in trouble with my mom for saying that, though. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you'd say something so bold. Your mother is probably just upset that you're not showing your uncle proper respect. I know. I try to be good, but sometimes I just say whatever pops in my head first. Like cheese wheels. I understand. I'm the same way. My mother calls it the impulse of youth. Anyway, I won't keep you from your shopping. If you get the chance, you should stop at A's Cafe. My mom works there. A's Cafe, eh? Sounds interesting. Thanks for the tip! Man, it must be difficult for Uncle to always have to cross over on the ferry any time he wants to buy something from town. I wonder why he chooses to live out at the shrine anyway. He's only the caretaker, so he could live here in town if he wanted to. I'm glad I can help him out a little bit, at least. Takeshi mentioned a place called A's Cafe. It's getting kind of late, though. Maybe I should look for it some other day. Today is the day. It's a small enough town, so it shouldn't be hard to find. Why can't I find the place? It's not even that late, but it got dark so quickly. This place feels kind of creepy when it's dark out. Hey, Takeshi, I'm a little lost. It's getting dark, and I'm kind of freaking out. I think I'm at a park of some sort. Any idea how to get back to the ferry? I hope he's still awake. Now that I think about it, I don't even know if he even lives in this area. He only said he was here last year. I hope Uncle isn't too worried about me. I should be back at the island by now. This is so weird. Why is this place so empty at night? Ugh, I think I'm starting to freak myself out. Calm down. Nothing is going to happen. Takeshi, please answer. Please. Why isn't he writing back? Oh, thank goodness. Your text message, I'm lost, sent to Takeshi, could not be delivered. Could not be delivered? Of all the times. I hear something. What's that sound? It's kind of metallic. I think someone's following me, and I'm really starting to freak out. I'm completely lost. Please answer. He's still not answering. What's wrong with this thing? I don't even know what that metallic sound is, but I definitely hear footsteps now. Someone's following me. I've got to get out of here. <laughs> I can't believe you'd be so reckless enough to wander around on your own. Maya! It's a good thing your uncle came out looking for you, or you might have been out all night. Have you even had the nerve to run away from him? Well, I was kind of freaked out, so I ran, okay? Besides, he didn't come to find me. 
He went to buy groceries because he forgot that he already sent me out, Mom. He's really out of it. I know, honey. I'm worried about him, too. But he's stubborn and refuses to move away from the island. He insists that nothing is wrong. We'll have to do the best we can with what we have. The best we can, huh? I don't feel as if there's anything I can do at all. I'm sure Mom's worried enough already, though. I understand. That's my girl. And don't go out alone anymore, okay? Love, Mom. Yeah, like you have to tell me that. I've had enough paranoia for one trip, thank you. In fact, I don't think I really want to go out today at all. I'm sure Uncle wouldn't mind if I just hung around all day. Another text? Mom, it's not that big of a deal. Maya, are you okay? I just got your text. What's wrong? Are you hurt? I guess you got my text after all. Figures. Of course, anything that makes me look like an idiot will go through in an inopportune time. I'm fine. Just got lost in town last night and uh, kind of overreacted. <laughs> I wound up running away from my uncle because I thought he was a stalker. I feel like such a moron admitting this. <laughs> Your uncle a stalker? That's a new one. I'm glad you're okay, though. Sorry you had to go through all of that. Well, he had this ring of keys with him, and it was making this weird sound. I really thought I was being stalked by someone with a big knife or something. Yeah, because a bunch of keys totally sounds like a giant knife. Does a knife even make a sound? Someone said that. Someone should ask Cloud. He'd know. Or Ichigo. Don't make fun of me. I was really scared, you know? You're right. I'm sorry. I was just teasing you. I wish I could have been there for you. Could have been there? Does that mean he lives in town? Hey, I was wondering, do you live in town by the dock? Not anymore, sadly. I miss it. Oh, hey, did you get a chance to explore the island yet? Not yet. Any suggestions? Hmm, good question. Well, you can always look around the shrine. There's also the pond at the end of the island, and the stone stairs leading up to the top of the hill. The view there is beautiful. Uncle said I should stay away from the pond. He says it's dangerous. Ah, right. I suppose he would say that. It's pretty slippery around there. A lot of people have fallen in. Have you ever fallen in? That's a secret. Huh. <laughs> okay, I won't ask. I'll text you later, okay? Have fun! Squee! All right, time to look around. Where should I go? Hmm. Why don't we take a peek around the shrine, see what is up up. I think I'll have a look around the shrine first. It's nice here. Uncle really keeps everything clean and in order. Peaceful, too. No wonder he enjoys living here. Oh, this must be the entrance where the guests come in. There's a display with information about the shrine. There's a picture of Uncle here with someone I don't recognize. Is that Takeshi? Hey, I found a picture of some guy with Uncle at the entrance of the shrine. Is that you? I was kind of hoping you wouldn't find that. My expression in that picture is so awkward. Awkward? He looks fine to me. I don't think you look awkward. I wouldn't have guessed you were blonde, though. Nah. <laughs> That's how it goes. My mom was pretty shocked when I dyed it. I think she still doesn't fully approve. Well, I approve of your hair. Can't say the same for your shirt, though. Those black and white stripes make you look like a zebra. Ow, that's harsh. It's my favorite shirt, you know. I'm wearing it right now, actually. Well, I'm not really a good judge of fashion, anyway. Keeping up with what's in style is too expensive and kind of silly. I wholeheartedly agree. I'm sure you look cute in whatever you wear anyway. You flirt. Can you blame me? I like you. Ugh. Did he really just say that? He's forward. I think my face is turning red. I hope Uncle doesn't see me. Eek! I think that's him! Oh wow. Did I really just run away from my own uncle? That's embarrassing. I hope he doesn't think anything weird is up. Sorry for 
disappearing on you like that. I had to hide from my uncle. Hide from your uncle? What did you do? What did I do? It's not my fault I was so flustered. He's the one who said he liked me. I can't really tell him that, can I? I didn't do anything. It's not important. If it's not important, then why can't you tell me about it? He's persistent. Uh, I need some time to think. Sorry, Takeshi. Almost time for dinner. I'll text you later. Whew. I doubt he really believes me, but at least I can have some time to calm down. Why am I even this embarrassed? I barely know Takeshi, and it's not like he confessed his undying love for me. I guess I was just kind of caught by surprise. I'll talk to him later after I can think more clearly. For now, I'll just rest. Let us have the phone on. I'm going to take a nap. Maybe that'll clear my mind. Hmm. That was just what I needed. Oops, did I really sleep that long? Nighttime already? I hope Uncle went ahead and had dinner without me. I did the same thing tonight. <laughs> I wonder if he tried to wake me up. <laughs> Probably not. My daddy even remembers that I'm here. He really does seem out of it. Like he's not even sure of who he is right now. I hope he's doing okay. Mom mentioned that his health was failing, but I didn't think it would be this bad. Well, I should probably go back to sleep. If I don't, I won't be able to wake up at the proper time. Although, it's kind of difficult to head back to sleep immediately with the rest I got. Maybe I should wander around for a bit to tire myself out. Hmm, you know what? Wandering around sounds fantastic. Let's do that. I'll never be able to get back to sleep like this. I'd better wander around. Wow, this island is beautiful at night as well. Oh, well, I bet Uncle's asleep right now. Now's the perfect time to go check out the pond. Mm, so this is it? It's not so scary. I wonder why Uncle told me to stay away. Sure, the path is a little slippery, but it's nothing terrible. Nah, maybe he keeps a big monster that no one is supposed to see at the bottom of the pond. <laughs> I, sh I shouldn't think about that right now. Looks like... Now it looks like there really is something out there. Huh. Huh. Uh, I'm freaking myself out. There's nothing out there. That movement in the water? It's just the wind. Or something normal, like a fish. Right? Definitely not a monster. It's too small to be a monster. Although, it's really too large for a fish. It looks more like a person. Ew! I shouldn't be thinking that! What's with those stripes? Black and white? I feel as if I've seen them before. Oh no. I'm sorry you had to see me like this, Maya, but it's the only way. It's all there. The black and white, the bleached blonde hair. Whatever it is, it looks just like Takeshi. Huh, this is a joke, right? He's just messing with me. I've been alone all this time. I don't want to be. I'm still asleep. This isn't real. I want to be found. I need to be found. I think I'm going to regret doing this. What happened to you? Like he's going to respond? I fell and hit my head. There was blood everywhere. I almost died. Almost died? Then what? Hisashi thought I was dead. He panicked. He tied me up and threw me into the pond. Oh no. Uncle did that? I drowned in here alone, and he never told anyone. I can't rest, Maya. I can't escape. Please save me, Maya. I can't rest here. Save you? What on earth am I supposed to do? What's that sound? Oh no, Uncle! I'm sorry, Takeshi. It looks like I'll be joining you. N7. Together. <laughs> and there we have it. That is text, a summer story. I hope you enjoyed it. And... 
Intense, huh? Intense. Oh, man. Anyways, I'm gonna get going. I'm gonna try and catch up on Vampire. Maybe even Spyro. Oh, depends on my computer axe. So, cross your fingers. Let's hope that it's uh, been working pretty well. Alright? Happy gaming. Happy reading. Don't get thrown into a pond. And I'll see you then.